Academy FM. This is Kevin Daly on 105.9 Academy FM, bringing you a short roundup of sport in the Folkestone area. Let's start with football. Last Saturday, Folkestone and Victor lost 2-1 away to Wingate and Finchley, but still remain third in the Bostick Premier Division. Monday evening in the Kent Senior Cup, they travelled to the Crabble to face Dover, which resulted in a 6-0 win for Folkestone. This match was used mainly to give Academy lads and bench warmers a run out by both sides, but it means if Victor go through to the semi-finals. Saturday is back to league action with a home game against Harrow Borough, who are currently 12th in the table. Meanwhile, down at Reachfield, Hive drew 2 all with Hastings United, both teams scoring in the 23rd minute, then with a score at one all, both teams scored in injury time. Hive are currently 6th in the Bostick South Division, and on Tuesday evening faced Hendon, who are 5th in the Premier, the two coming together in the Velocity League Trophy. The game ended 2-1 to Hendon, after Hive are taken an early lead thanks to a Sid Solis 4th minute goal. Hawkins Town, fourth in the Kent County League Division 1, beat Tudor Sports, seventh in the Premier, at home by two goals to one in the Kent Intermediate Challenge Shield. This Saturday, it's at home to Hollands and Blair Reserves in the league. Garrett Wilson's Invicta side beat a lead 13, 8-0 in the Ashford District League Cup. Connor West scored a hat-trick and there was one apiece for Chris Preble, James Shepherd, Charlie Nell, Dan Greeley and Lee Baker. Hockey news. Last week, the Ops had six wins and five losses. Well, this week, the results were reversed with five wins and six losses. The men's first beat Worthing 5-1, but the ladies lost 3-2 to Holcomb. With the Christmas break looming, there are just eight fixtures this week, with the men's first away to Maidstone and the ladies' first away to Bromley and Beckenham. I was on the mic twice last week, the first time as a quiz master for Kate Lansfield and Hazel Green, who managed to find nine rounds of Christmas questions. The event was held as a fundraiser for a charity called The Silver Line, which keeps elderly people in contact over the phone. Kate and Hazel raised a magnificent £601 ATP as they prepare to run the Big London Half Marathon in March next year. On Sunday, I picked up the mic again at the Alan Green Memorial 10-mile road race organised splendidly by Thanet Roadrunners. Three athletes from Folkestone Running Club took part. Tony Scott finished in 1 hour 17, Hayley Klusinski 1 hour 41 and Russell France 1 hour 46. At the finish, there was a huge table of free cakes for all cooked up by the members of the home club. But for me, the nice touch was donating one pound from every runner's entrance fee, which went to a charity. So it meant that Pilgrim's Hospice benefited by over £400. Finally, Saturday, December the 23rd, on the Lees, sees the Folkestone Park Run Tinsel Run. Runners and spectators are asked to come along in Christmas fancy dress, where a collection will be made of tins of food and toiletries for the Shetway Food Bank. Don't forget you can catch up with more sports news on Thursdays from 1 to 2 p.m. and Saturdays from 10 to 11 a.m. with the team from the Shetway Sports Trust right here on 105.9 Academy FM. That's all from me, Kevin Daly. Thanks for listening. Academy FM Folkestone. 105.9 FM. And online at academyfmfolkestone.com.